Did you know that there are very dangerous moments during darts matches? In this video, we show you the most dangerous moments during darts matches and tournaments. James Wade, a professional darts player, had a petrifying moment during his Premier League darts match in Exeter. The machine, as he's popularly known, was walking towards his table when he suddenly found himself alarmingly close to the stage pyrotechnics. It's customary for sparks to fly from the stage at the beginning of the game, but Wade forgot about it, and as he stepped back in horror, he narrowly avoided the worst of the heat. Despite this scary moment, Wade didn't let it affect his performance on the board. He regrouped himself and went on to defeat Gary Anderson to reach the semi-finals. However, his reaction to the fireworks didn't go unnoticed, and social media was abuzz with people sharing their amusements about Wade's close encounter with the pyrotechnics. One Twitter user wrote, Every week James Wade gets done by the pyro, while another added, James Wade will never learn when it comes up on that stage. A third chimed in, James Wade getting hit by some sparks there has sent me. And a fourth joked, James Wade and fireworks, bad combo. A fifth user simply concluded, James Wade burning his head again. Although the incident was amusing to some, it's important to note that there are potential consequences of such dangerous moments during darts matches. If a player were to get seriously injured or burned, it could affect not only their career, but also the safety protocols of the game. It's crucial for players to be aware of their surroundings and take necessary precautions to avoid accidents. Despite the social media chatter surrounding the incident, there was also praise for Wade's performance on the board. Fans commended his finishing, with one saying, James Wade's finishing has been mint. It's a testament to Wade's professionalism that he was able to put the incident behind him and focus on the game. Don't forget to hit the bullseye to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. Moving forward, we have Nathan Aspinall, a name that rings a bell among darts enthusiasts. As a former UK Open winner and current world number 9, he is known for his impressive performances on the dartboard. However, his experience at the International Darts Open in Germany was far from ordinary. During his match against Mario van der Bahada, which he won 6-2, Aspinall was left stunned when one of the advertising boards fell on his head as he went to shake hands with the officials. Fortunately, the piece was very light and did not cause him any injuries. The scene was captured on video, and it soon became viral on social media. While the incident could have been disastrous, Aspinall showed great sportsmanship by laughing it off. Referee Kirk Bevins watched the scene in amazement, but couldn't suppress a laugh after Aspinall himself burst into laughter. The audience was equally amused, and Twitter was abuzz with comments on the hilarious incident. Aspinall's good humour was further tested when he had to dodge a fly that kept flying into his orbit. Nevertheless, he played an excellent game, reaching an average of over 96 and a finishing percentage of 60%. Aspinall was pleased with his performance and he told online darts afterwards, It was a nice game to get into the tournament. I thought I played okay there, but I didn't really get pushed so I didn't really have to produce anything special, but always happy to get the win. The win was Aspinall's first on the European Tour that year and he was delighted to finally make it onto the European Tour ranking. He acknowledged the importance of these events to the ranking, saying, Being in that top 16 is a massive of advantage. If you get a couple of wins every single week, you're very hard to catch on in that top 16. It makes your life a lot easier. However, Aspinall's campaign at the International Darts Open came to an end when he was defeated by Martin Schindler, who reeled off five consecutive legs from 3-1 down to dump Aspinall out of the competition at the third round stage. Aspinall was not in the best of moods, having been targeted by whistles during his Premier League defeat to Michael Smith in Berlin. During his match against Chris Doby, Aspinall was able to put the previous incident behind him and clinch a win. However, his next opponent was the reigning world champion, a difficult task made even more challenging by the audience's whistles just as he was about to throw. Aspinall lost his cool, remonstrating with the audience while the referee also stepped in to try and calm things down. The incident was out of character for Aspinall and commentators were quick to point out that there must be something behind it. However, Aspinall's experience at the International Darts Open was a bizarre and somewhat comical moment that could have had serious consequences. Let's talk about the incident with Chris Doby. As he was making headlines in the darts world after delivering another remarkable performance at the European Championship, the Newcastle United fan, who was affectionately nicknamed Hollywood, secured his spot in the semi-finals with a breathtaking 10-7 win over Dave Chisnell. During the match against Jose de Souza, Doby had to rely on his quick reflexes to avoid a dangerous situation. While practicing throws, Doby's third dart hit the board but bounced right back towards him. Without hesitation, he instinctively dodged to his left to avoid being struck by the dart, narrowly escaping injury. This incident highlights the potential dangers that players face during darts matches. 
While it may seem like a harmless game, the reality is that darts can be quite hazardous if proper precautions are not taken. A simple misstep or a wayward dart can cause serious injury. It's not just the players who are at risk. Spectators can also be in danger. A rowdy crowd can cause chaos and distractions, leading to dangerous situations for both players and those watching. One example for this is during the European Tour in 2017. A moment occurred that shocked both the players and the spectators. It all started when a fan dressed up as none other than Jesus Christ himself made his way onto the stage. The crowd watched in awe as the fan began to flick his long hair back and forth like a wannabe rock star. As the fan continued to build up his dangerous level of dizziness, things started to take a dangerous turn. The fan then turned towards the walk-on girl and extended his hand for a handshake. At that moment, he lost his balance and stumbled, resulting in falling off the stage. The security guards immediately rushed to his aid, pulling him back on stage to the raucous applause of the worried crowd. Even the smallest moment of carelessness can lead to dangerous consequences. Similar incidents happened at the PDC World Pairs 1996 when Jamie Harvey, the Scottish darts player known as Brave Dart, took on Phil Taylor and Bob Anderson alongside his partner Keith Della. Harvey was a renowned player who would reach the semi-finals of both the PDC World Championship and World Match Play. But that day, things didn't go according to plan. During the match, Harvey was throwing his darts with his usual precision and skill, but unfortunately, his foot slipped on the edge of the stage causing him to fall off and onto the floor. He accidentally knocked over a table and chairs, causing a loud commotion to stop the match. Phil Taylor was left speechless by the incident. We have a, I think Jamie has slipped off the stage. He was given the lads plenty of room. The fall could have had serious consequences for Harvey. He could have injured himself or even someone in the audience. Luckily, he wasn't hurt. The fall has even spawned a new nickname for Harvey, the Flying Scotsman. But for Harvey, the incident was a reminder of the importance of safety in the sport of darts. Falling really can be embarrassing, as Robert Thornton found out when he faced off against Phil Taylor during the Judgment Night of Premier League darts back in 2014 and had a bad incident. During the 10th leg, Thornton collected his darts before tripping past referee Russ Bray and struggling to regain his balance. It was a moment that he would not remember too fondly, and one that could have had serious consequences. As Thornton stumbled towards the edge of the stage, Phil Taylor jumped forward in an attempt to catch his opponent and prevent him from falling off the stage. It was a heart-stopping moment for everyone in the audience, and for Thornton himself, who only narrowly avoided flying off the stage. With the help of Taylor, Thornton managed to regain his balance and make his way back to his table. However, the incident had clearly taken its toll on him, and he limped behind his table, bowing his head down in a mixture of pain and embarrassment. Don't forget to hit the bullseye to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time.